save time, meals can be prepared on the run if necessary. Here, with the distant horizons of sand and clay around us, the smells from the top deck kitchen become an anticipated invitation to enjoy a good, wholesome meal. Heading north again, we travel an alternative route through Syria and enter eastern Turkey. Within a few days' drive from the border, we find ourselves engulfed in an eerie lunar-like landscape. This is Goromi in the Cappadocia region of central eastern Turkey. The earth in this area is volcanic and erosion has caused the fragile tough stone to take on strange shapes. After the spreading of Christianity, these rocks were hollowed out to become monasteries, churches and houses. In the 7th century, when Arab invaders swept west across Turkey, the inhabitants found a need in this area to band together. Rather than build houses, they found it much easier to hollow out shelters in the soft rock. Exploring these old hideaways becomes an adventure all of its own, and a lot of fun. <laughs> Although some may have to try a little harder if they want to reach those higher inlets. Since these people were very religious, underground chapels were often built, and eventually these artificial grottos became decorated with Bible scenes. A number of underground cities still exist, which once housed large numbers of people. These were connected by a network of tunnels. In the hills outside Goromi, a group of Turkish men give an impromptu performance of Swan Lake. No, not really, but it is an excellent example of their folklore. Most of the local people live simple existences by our standards, but they seem to get a lot of enjoyment out of singing and dancing, especially when the onlookers show some interest.